I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions. <laughs> Or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. The first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time. He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is, he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Well, I didn't... I didn't hear Gabe make the call. But he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about... We review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like, 
felt like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. <laughs> Watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just trying... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not you? That's it. Wake's over. Everyone out. Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I... I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We. No way. 
away. I can't. What? He actually kept it. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. find out what's really going on with Steph. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? Overpowered blue meteor? Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. First to five points, if you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. 
Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, Playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. Do one more game. I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would never let a tie stand. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> yeah, girls are pretty rad, right? Especially girls that play foosball and host radio stations and wear beanies, like it's a religion. <laughs> Sounds like a winning combo. Who's what? What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. Champion! Foosball champion! Goddamn <laughs> champ family! Oh! <laughs> Good game. I 
Thanks, Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Of course. <sighs> it's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Max Steele is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? See, I can be a person. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even not much to toast at the moment. It's a start. Okay. That did make me feel a little better. Cape really meant the world to Steph. One of the happiest memories I have. Thanks, Cape. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. No birds today. I 
thought this was going to be the one. Finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you. Completely. I let myself hope. Really hope. For the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died, and I don't know what to believe now, except you're gone again, and I'm still here, alone. I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. This thing's been up here a while. Isn't that Steph's old band? Gabe was such a dad. Gabe really loved this place. Why look up at the sky, when you could look at a sculpture instead? So long, depression food. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? The kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks, Jed. I never got to see bartender Gabe in action, but he left some pretty big shoes to fill. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late.
wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door, and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him. R.M. and T.B. I wonder who they were. Jed definitely has a decorating style. I'd call it steakhouse chic. Okay, 
Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop. But I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. The park looks fun to explore. And word around the water cooler is? The Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. I might be too close to the issue to have an unbiased opinion, but fuck this. Do you want to do something together next week? Sure. I have a pottery class Wednesday night. Want to join? A uh, class? Uh, maybe? Could we get dinner first? Sorry about today. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Really looking forward to class. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. I love this song. Finally. I don't get it. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? I looked over the budget. If we only opened... Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Helpful. Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. I'm glad Gabe convinced her to stay. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun? Defeating. Cravius looks pretty badass. Go with that. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. The breakup section, huh? That's rough, buddy. Got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike, but first, a few and out. What's this? 
The spring festival is... Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Just Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. Free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. There's beauty and simplicity. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. Val, I just want to be friends. Pirate Peaches is making an actual profit, remember? Fine. I still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. She's lucky to have you. Thanks. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I... I it's not that... I... Sorry. I'm really not ready to talk about it.
Okay. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. I don't want to push Riley, but I need to know more about Mac. How do I get her to open up? Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. It's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys don't... The park looks fun to explore. Oh, customers here are a lot nicer than in Denver. Never been to Denver, but I guarantee they're nice here. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex. Hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah. Distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. I hear he's been having a rough time. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death Escape. What is this? An affidavit. From Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith. But you're right. 
He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. That affidavit feels scummy, but Ethan should come first. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Yeah, okay. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway, it blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. God, put some clothes on. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Impressive. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money. That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. I really love Charlotte's style. There's something you don't see in Portland. These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Jean out of business. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Given the circumstances, I could definitely go for a few of these. I'm always here for you, if you need anything. Thanks. Back at you. Probably cost more than my bus ticket. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. These overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep schedule. So talk about the accident? How would I know that? Fuck, now I'm on Diane's shit list. Thanks, Diane. If 
I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. I mean, you don't know that. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This is none of my business. Too. That'll help. Please say it's not the one you read. Eleanor? Oh! oh. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Okay, time to figure out why she's afraid. Memories, are, memories fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. How does she hide all of this? How 
does she hide all of this? If they know if they about know my about condition, my condition. They'll make me close make this, me place. this place. Holy shit. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> hey. I... I want to help. Okay, what would Eleanor have done first? Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. <sighs> Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for?
rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex, you're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. You know Jed. Probably doesn't know the difference between a lily and a tulip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell him short. He's more clever than he seems. Thanks again for your help. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Promise. She was finally feeling better. I didn't want to ruin that. What do you want? You want to make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I... You made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's. First of all, we got third place. And anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's. Oh, God. Way to take the bait, Rai. You know what? Fuck those pricks. You rule, and I would really like to see your robot. I should get an emotional support dog, but like, for other people. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? so bad for her getting sick of people feeling bad for me why should one accident close all the trails what a wasted vacation yes we're all suffering here Accident. Kate was too young. Just too young. Radio 
had two. That'll help. Please say it's not the one you read to me the other day. That was so weird. How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you buy your chicken coop? Time to get the truth. I'm so fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. I'm really sorry he died. And I appreciate that you... You didn't out me to Riley the other night, but I can't talk to you. I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Even Riley? Did something happen with her? Haven listeners, that was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike, but first, a few announcements. The Spring Festival is just... Could Chrissy forward. leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music, but maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Maybe I'll get to hear her play sometime. Still going. Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. The adventures of Feanor are about to get real. Val, I just want to be friends.
I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. The park looks fun to explore. The park looks fun to explore. At least back then, the only people dying in mining accidents were miners. This whole thing is so horrible. You're writing a novel? Since when? This is cool. In a wicker man sort of way. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Are you doing okay? I'm fine. Okay. Definitely not fine. So young. He must be reading about Gabe. What if I die tomorrow? And just like that guy. What have I done with my life? I don't have any easy answers for that. I don't think this whole town is a pagan cult, but I can't rule it out either. So useless. I've been there. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Yeah, that'd be good. just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge.
Thanks for spending time with me. Thanks for letting me. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Do you... want to talk about Mac? Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him I had to think about it, but... Alex, I... I'm scared he did something horrible. Riley... Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon. Soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Everyone's out to get me. Alex? What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. I got Riley to tell me about your plans to leave town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God, it's not. I didn't. Do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! Leave me alone! Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. No! What 
the hell? There are people out there. No, I told you to call it off. I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? All right, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. 
How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and... It doesn't matter! I keep coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead. Because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Brian. He would forgive you. You know that. <laughs> You're not alone. gorilla suit <laughs> does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool no no he chases a guy in a banana suit <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool okay i'm i'm sorry this is a mexican restaurant eh, nominally <laughs> <laughs> the food is uh well terrible but it's gabe's favorite place <laughs> i tell you he's the oldest 12 year old i know Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me?
Okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. Mag, Typhon, all of it. You're afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man, this one time. <laughs> We're going to send him off right this time. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. What emotion is this? That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up! It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> Gabe, the goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? Okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? So... I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel, as if I was feeling it myself. 
And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... that... That was... pure joy. Who else knows? I've never told anyone. Until now. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So... You're going after Typhon. You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. Said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find, it's something you build.
smile.